So you're thinking about moving to Covington, Washington. Well, stick around. In this video, we're gonna go through all the pros and all the cons of what it's like to actually live in Covington. So if you're looking to learn more, then stick around. We're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know all there is to know about living in King County, Washington or places like Covington, like we're talking about today, then hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to be notified of a new video of Covington or one of our other favorite cities here in King County. I'm Brad Decatur with the Decatur Home Team and we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every day who are looking to make their move to King County. So all the information is below. Whether you're one day or one year away, we would love to reach out for you to reach out um, so we can talk to you about our expertise. We were born and raised in this area and would love to help you make a smooth move to King County. All right, so we're gonna get right into the video here. So pros and cons. So the first pro I have is gonna be shopping, entertainment, things to do. Covington, it has that main drag on Kent Canley Road and that thing is just completely full of, of commercial shopping centers. So there's just tons and tons of stuff to do. All your big box stores as well. They have Walmart, they have uh, Costco, always a good one. And then, you know, more than like 50, 75 restaurants just on that thing, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, you know, all that kind of stuff, the fast food, um, and then shopping itself. So QFC, Safeway, uh, we'll show you some footage of the area right now, but this, this main drag, again, it's got just tons and tons of commercial. So all the stores that you probably, you know, need, it kind of reminds me like Issaquah. Issaquah and Gilman has lots of stuff as well, or Bellevue, um, but Covington really does have just about everything you need as far as the shopping kind of slash entertainment, not, not as much the entertainment part, but the shopping, dining, that kind of stuff. There's no movie theaters um, or there's no, you know, like sports teams or anything like, like Seattle. Um, but that's pro number one is gonna be the, you know, shopping section, commercial section, gonna have all those big box stores, specifically Costco, things like that, Home Depot, all of it in the area. All right, con number one is gonna be basically the downside of having all that commercial area is gonna be the traffic. So on that main road, not so much in your neighborhoods, that's gonna be probably mostly fine, but that main Kent Kingley Road um, with all the commercial, almost always very, very busy, a little bit of traffic. It also goes into Highway 18, if we can show you a map here. Um, so even if you're someone who's gonna be getting on 18 to go to then I-90 or 405 or whatever you're going, um, that could be a little bit of a traffic issue. So con number two, sorry, con number one is gonna be the traffic in the downtown Covington area. All right, pro number two is gonna be affordability. So when compared to in, in general in King County, unless you're going to Auburn Federal Way, Kent, then Covington is gonna be one of your more affordable areas here, especially compared to like Issaquah, Bellevue, Redmond, Sammamish, Snoqualmie, all those areas. Um, so starting price points are significantly less than a lot of those other main King County areas, like I said. Um, so five, 600,000, good starter price point. You know, if you're below a million, you're still getting a really amazing house, which is not even close to the case in, for example, Bellevue. Um, so in King County in general, when you're comparing all the markets, this is a definitely a very affordable area of King County. All right, con number two is gonna be the school district. So I'm always a little bit careful about this one. And I only say that it depends on what you're comparing. So if you're comparing it to Auburn, Federal Way, Kent, um, then it's probably fine. Uh, however, the markets that I serve and the areas that I serve, um, this is gonna be on the lower end of the school districts when you compare it to Bellevue, almost usually one and two in the state, Issaquah School District, Lake Washington, three and four typically. Um, so when you're comparing to that, so Covington is gonna be in the Kent School District. So I'll leave it at that. Um, you guys can look up the statistics. We can put something on the screen here for you here. Um, but that is the one downside of Covington is that it is a Kent School District. So that is gonna be a little bit worse off than, again, Bellevue, Issaquah, um, Lake Washington, Snoqualmie, um, even where the border where it hits Maple Valley, Tahoma school districts, Tahoma is usually nine and 10, you know, uh, ranking wise. And so even that's a big difference from Kent. So that is one of the downsides of Covington is the school district. All right, my last pro, pro number three is my favorite one. So there's gonna be some serious future development, the plaza. Uh, we'll show you some info right here, but off the one of the 18, the exits of 18, Highway 18, they're building this massive um, plaza where it's gonna have a little man-made lake. They're gonna have 7,500 different um, housing units, mostly townhome condo type structures, and then another 50 restaurants, this huge hotel plaza thing, uh, movie theaters, 
So it's gonna have all the entertainment that I was just saying we don't quite have in the shopping area. We don't have the movie theaters, but so that's gonna add to um, you know some more increase in pricing as far as real estate goes. Um, so I think it's always good to be a part of an area like before the future development happens. So this is a big, massive project, big, huge project. So anytime you're kind of in this area and then you're gonna see the benefits of that development, but before it's actually realized, I think it's a really good place for an investment. So just real estate investing, money wise in general, I do think Covington's on the up and up. I think that future development that they're making is gonna be a massive um, you know, potential appreciation play that you know is gonna help your real estate asset. But also, Covington is, is a good place to live. It's got a great uh, area. Um, the only thing, the downside, I think is really just the schools. And so I actually live in Maple Valley, which is just across the street. Like I go to Covington for some shopping because if I wanna go to Costco or like Home Depot, that's where I gotta go. Um, I'll do my own grocery shopping in Maple Valley, but Maple Valley and Covington are very close together. They're touching, of course, but the school district is significantly different. Tahoma is much better in Maple Valley. And so, what I think and why I think Covington is a good area to invest in is because pricing hasn't quite caught up to like the Maple Valley because of the school district. But with this new development and if there's more money that kind of comes in, I think the schools in the area will change over time. And so I think um, by having this thing happen, the same thing's happening in Black Diamond right now. I think it's good. Like I said, getting on the ground floor of some future development, hopefully that it improves um, the amount of money that's kind of in the area, which then in turn usually improves the schools in the area as well. Um, so yeah, my third pro and favorite one is that I think it's going to be a good long-term investment in Covington, um, because of that development and because of the, I think the landscape is just in general changing with the schools, um, and the markets around Covington as well. So hopefully you found that helpful. If this is your first time to the channel, um, and Covington is the only place you've ever seen before, make sure to check out the other Covington videos, the vlog tour where we're actually out in our cars the map video as well. Um, and if you're interested in Covington, you're probably also interested in kind of the surrounding areas like maybe Maple Valley, Black Diamond, Enumclaw, those kind of areas, or up to Snoqualmie, uh, North Bend. So that's what this channel is for. We have all the info you need in all the King County area for the most part. <clears throat> so we have them organized in playlists. So feel free to browse those to check it out. And again, we're born and raised here. We know the area, we know real estate, this is what we do. We made this channel to help you on your journey to explore what are the different areas like, what is it like to live there, and then what's best for me, you. You know, find out what's best for you and we can help you with that um, when we hop on a Zoom call to find out more about your wants and needs. And since we know the area, we can kind of guide you in the right direction. So feel free to reach out when you're ready. Thank you for watching, take care.